Hi, I'm Aoife from Wicklow Willow and welcome to our Totem and Wigwam work, making workshop, okay? I come here today to the Hazelwood, um, near to my house, to forage for some lengths of hazel or rods for to make our wigwam, okay? We're also going to get a nice piece of timber for our totem and we're going to go through all that now in a minute, okay? So before we start, I'm just going to show you the tool that you're going to be using. It's a secateurs, it's really sharp and it's for the adult to use, okay? So you need the adult to use this, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at what we're going to to harvest okay so i'm looking for some nice lengths okay about maybe seven foot like at least seven foot tall six to seven foot tall that'd be a good length okay just have a look at them okay i'll show you the thickness now in a minute when i harvest and that should give you an idea of the thickness as well okay so before i harvest just going to have a little look in the tree we want to be mindful of birds nests this time of year we don't want to disturb any any wildlife so we want to have a little look before you harvest okay so i'm going to have a look up in the tree and I don't see anything that I'm going to disturb, so we're good to go, okay? So I'm going to harvest a couple of rods just to show you what you need, but in total you're going to need 12 rods for this workshop, okay? But it might be a good idea to get 14, just to have two spare, just to give yourself a little bit of a chance. Sometimes things can go wrong or things can break, and you don't want to have to go back and forage all over again, so it's a good idea just to get a few extra, okay? So right beside me here we have a nice, a nice mature hazel, okay? So what we have is from the bottom of that you have these like really straight rods that grow up from the bottom, okay? And they're kind of constantly growing. The tree matures, but you still have this new growth all the time. So it's this new growth that we're gonna harvest for our workshop, okay? So I'm gonna get one now and I'll show you what we're looking for, okay? So just remember that you need to harvest right down at the very bottom of the rod, okay? So as close to the ground as you can, because that gives you the maximum length for the rod, okay? So I'm gonna do that now. Got a nice one here. Okay, and that one came free for me there. I'll get another one now in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that one around. They're kind of tricky, so they are. So if we have a look at this, it's got a nice silvery coloured bark with kind of little kind of speckles on it. The thickness you're looking at is about as thick as, as, thick as my thumb. Okay, so maybe as thick as the adult's thumb who's with you. Okay, that's a good way to look at it. Okay, I'm just going to have another look now for another one. We'll have one here beside me again. So I'm going to go right down to the bottom here and I'm going to cut it out. It can be a bit tricky, a bit hard. The secretaries are, need to be good and sharp. Okay, so I'm nearly there with this one. So it's really, really hard to get this one out. So that just shows how you really need to have someone to help you, okay? So I've got that one now. Another one came with it, a second one, a smaller one. We can keep that if we want, no reason why we can't. Okay, and we have our second rod there. Okay, so remember now to get 12 or 14, that's a good amount to get. Okay, now we need to go off and forage for the totem. Okay, so we're going to look for a nice sized totem to paint up. Okay. Okay, so we've just harvested our, our hazel for our wigwam, okay? But there's lots of other materials you can use too, okay? Stuff you can forage and sometimes stuff that you might find in your shed, okay? So the, the materials that you can forage for are willow or birch or any kind of wood which is nice and slender and about six to seven foot tall, okay? So that's what you're looking for for your forage material. Now it's also an option if you want, we can't get to a wood. It's also possible to have a look maybe in your shed. You might find some slender pieces of pipe or thin pieces of pipe some light pieces of wood or anything you think you can upcycle for this project. So ask your mom or dad or your granny or granddad maybe and ask them if they have something that's suitable, okay? So again, 10 or 12 pieces and that should be perfect for this, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look for the wood for our totem, okay? So the totem is going to be our it's, it's going to be a piece of wood, okay, that we're going to decorate and we're going you're going to then be able to insert it into the ground outside your wigwam as a kind of a I suppose a kind of a decorative feature outside your wigwam, something nice, okay, in your garden, okay? And you're going to paint it up and it's going to look great, but you're going to need a piece of timber for that, okay? So we're going to look for a nice branch, something that's fallen down, windfall, we like to call it, okay? Or if you can't get to a wood, what you can do is you can have a look maybe for a fence post or another piece of timber possibly that you have lying around the shed. So don't be restricted by um, maybe, you know, going to the wood. That might be something that you'll be able to do, you know, this week. So have a look around the shed or ask somebody to help you and that might work as well. But I'm here in the wood and I've spotted a piece of birch that's been that's on the ground here. It's a nice branch and I think it'd be really good for the job, okay? So I'm going to show you that now and give you an idea of what you're looking for, okay? 
So here it is. It's a nice piece of birch. It's not too thick and it's a nice length, okay? Now in the workshop for the totem, I'm going to show you how to prepare that and how to turn it into a really decorative, really colourful totem. That's going to look really great, okay? I'm really happy with that, okay? So I'll see you at the next workshop. Um, that's going to be when we're going to prepare our materials and we're going to paint everything up and we're going to make our wigwam, okay? And I'll see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye.